What's going on guys? Today we will be unboxing the Berna SDXL Kinetic Kit. Now this is also offered in a pepper kit where they give you pepper balls instead of plastic PVC kinetic balls. So right away when we open up the nice packaging on the right hand side, we have some kinetic pro projectiles which are made of like a PVC plastic um, material. We have some extra CO2 canisters, some manuals, and two base plate indicators. On the left hand side, we have the Berna SDXL. And what makes this difference between this and the SD model is the SDXL adds this little piece right here. So you can put in 12 gram CO2 canisters like these. Otherwise you have to use Berna's uh, proprietary eight gram CO2 canisters. So if you can afford it, I highly recommend you get the SDXL version. Inside here, we have two more CO2 canisters, as well as eco kinetic projectiles and regular kinetic projectiles. Um, a magazine here, as well as another magazine in the gun. So you press this button right here to release the magazine. I wanna go over the projectiles a little bit. So Berna offers many different projectiles. Um, the most common is the kinetic projectiles which shoot those PVC-like plastic bullets. The eco-kinetic projectiles, those are biodegradable. So if you shoot these in your backyard and over time, they'll just decompose. Um, the Berna inert projectiles, these explode on impact. So there's a white powder inside of them and you could shoot these for target practice and it's very easy and visible to see. The Berna projectile pro pepper projectiles, as well as the Berna Max projectiles. Those are the ones with the pepper spray. Um, the Max actually has tear gas included, so that's got a higher um, effect rate on, you know, attacker or something like that. So that's a quick look at some of the different projectiles Berna offers. Um, they basically do shoot like paintballs, 0.68 paintballs. That is the size of the projectiles. So you could very well just put a paintball in it and it'll probably work as well. So using the gun is super easy. We take out the magazine and you'll notice on the bottom, there's like a hex key. That is actually how we unscrew where we put in the CO2 canister. So we place that right here, twist it around. This comes right out. And here you'll see I have a Crossman um, CO2 canister, this is a generic one. We slip that in there and we simply just screw this back into place. What's really nice about these Berna guns is it doesn't pierce the CO2 canister until you pull the trigger for the very first time. So if you're um, familiar with airsoft and paintball, sometimes the gas, it just leaks on its own. And over time, when you go and use it, it'll be out of gas. This one, once you pull the trigger, that's when it pierces the CO2 canister. Also, um, we have a safety right here and a fire. So if you place it down in fire, you'll be able to pull the trigger. If you have it in safe, nothing will happen. So let's go ahead and load up these magazines. I'm gonna just load it with the kinetic projectiles for now. So to load it, you simply just push them in and each magazine holds about five projectiles. Um, also, we can change the base plates on the bottom of these, and basically you can designate an orange one or a black one, um, one to be kinetic projectiles and one to be pepper projectiles. If you do wanna change these base plates, it's really easy. You just push in on this, and then you push that out, and then you just grab a new base plate and slip that in there. Once we have the magazine loaded, we simply just put it in here. It's on safety right now, but once you push it down to fire, we're ready to go. And also you'll notice that the gun is loaded um, by seeing this indicator right here. So you'll see how that is slightly pushed up. Once you put the magazine in there, you can see that the projectile is already loaded in the chamber. Um, you can also push that and it'll eject it so that's a nice way to safely unload the gun you'll notice how that's flat now let's go ahead and fire this bad boy and see how it does all right when you're aiming you want to look down this center sight here line it up with 
that sight right there and line it up into the middle of the target. All right, so my first time wasn't too good. Aimed a little bit close to the right, but as you can see, kind of corrected it over to the left here, got the bullseye from around 15 feet. So I would say it's pretty dang accurate. Uh, it takes a few practice rounds to get used to it, but after you do, I think it's very accurate at the 15 feet range. If you guys did find the video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs out. up. Check out my channel for tech videos, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know if the burnout is worth the price, and I'll see you in the next one.